species? That's his tag, but I don't know his actual name game. Actual name, but he's rocking the pink Greninja. Three, two, Greninja uh, off one, of oh, it's animals. Go. Okay. Hey, that works. Panda Dump versus animals. Animals is playing the pink Greninja. It's kind of weird for yourself the opposite side. Looks like it's a button check. Yep, it's definitely a button check. It's the weirdest neutral I've ever seen. Anyways, welcome to Hollow Rash. This is uh, 2DG's weekly tournament held in the TCL Chinese Theater here in Hollywood, California. Um, currently, I believe we're going to be having the premiere for the Terminator, for the Terminator movie. The new Terminator movie coming out in the next couple of weeks and have the premiere here. But right now, they're actually setting up for a Formula One event. Apparently, they're going to have a lot of Formula One drivers hanging out here in some sort of big Red Bull booth out on Hollywood Boulevard. Seems pretty cool. Seems pretty fun. I thought they were going to have like an actual like Formula One race going on in Hollywood Boulevard. I was going to say, whoa, like, hold up. Like, that just sounds fun. But that's not the case. They're just guest appearing just for a little day of fun. But anyways, speed of fun, we're getting, getting right into game. We won here in FD. Kind of just rocket dark mode. The regular mode, no. It's definitely dark mode. Correct me if I'm wrong. They're Echo Fighters, it doesn't really matter. I'm uh, back on the stage and really get myself back into the corner here in Animals. Again, it's big hits. Down throw. Wanted, wanted to dare and possibly nair into him. Just to give him a chance. Maybe dash forward a little bit and then be able to do the dare. Oh yeah, let's go. You can tell by the air. Big forward there by Animals. Just keep it from here in the corner. Oh, that's a little bit too much game there, James. Oh, that's way too much game. Oh my god. Oh, oh, too much game. Oh, my ears. That isn't even the right headphones. Oh god. Alright. We're just gonna be dealing with this white noise. Dash back into the up air, and that's gonna take the first stock there from animals. Alright, let's see how he fix this. Can you turn up the gain? Can you turn up the gain on the other headset? I think I'm. Oh, I'm number one, definitely. You turned it up on number two, so like I can hear like white noise, like nothing but static on that end. No. I'm number one on this one. All right, there we go. Okay, cool. Sorry about that, folks. The mixer's on the other side of the television, so it's harder to see who's number one and who's number two. There is no number two commentator here. You know, down throw, trying to get the back end to the stage by trying to get something going. But while it was going, it appeared that Panda Dome actually gained the lead here. Went into a drag down there into the down throw. He's tacking on just a little bit more damage. from of arrows coming out here, just trying to stop any sort of recovery option. Give himself a little bit more time on stage to be situated. Drag down air into the grab, not going to hit his mark. Great stuff by animals, being a little bit more patient, just kind of waiting, him, waiting for an option to come out. But unfortunately, Panda Jump with the right options here at the ledge with the backer, and that is going to take it. 44% here on Panda Jump on his stock. Another down throw to Dare, not really going to hit it just yet. Oh, there it is. Oh, just missed it. Ooh, th but that Dare is going to do it. Great stuff by Panda Jump. A quick third stock there. Here in game number one, Panda Jump up. 1-0 over animals. No, that is not legal. That is definitely not legal. Don't even think about going to Great Bay. I will hurt you. Not there either. I will equally hurt you. Don't you even dare. There we go. Alright, that's the choice. It looks like nobody's going to be switching characters here. Animal sticking to his tried and true Greninja, Panda Dump. Sign to switch over to. Uh, no, actually, not even switch over. Just stick with Dark Pit. I thought he chose Pit, and I was about to have like an aneurysm. Down throw, Dare. The sign to actually keep it pretty safe and get the down throw to Dare and just wait for his next option on the landing. Quick up, be right back to the ledge. A couple 
shurikens there, just trying to zone him out a little bit, just react to whatever approach option he has. Ooh, and there's the forward smash going up and handed up. Not really going to do it, but still lots of damage. It's like 110 to his 10%. The lead is only growing larger. A couple of arrows there just to stop any sort of approach options. Animal's starting to show a little bit of hesitation here. Not really sure what to do. Great punish there with the forward tilt. Could have actually got something else out of there. There's a lot more lag on that side B than what it lets on. Ooh, the back air, and that is going to do it. Quick stock there, once again, from Panda Dump. 42%. Forward tilt. No, still not really going to do it. Another side B. Just Panda Dump doing a great job. Just not really, not really approaching. Just kind of... Walking slowly and pushing animals straight to the corner. Now animals now, huh? An opportunity here with all the stage in the world and Panadump just pushes them back with some arrows. Quick little dash attack, the forward smash in the opposite direction. Thought he was gonna air dodge towards him. But instead he decides to stay neutral. And just wait it out. Down throw. I mean back throw might be. Will that side be a lot of lag there? Is he going to make it back? Yes, he's going to make it back. Oh, the footstool. Oh, my goodness. These two are just trading back and forth. Oh, went for the... What, what was that? A 1440 no scope? That was like four rotations. That's definitely not a 1440. Oh, there it is. The Shadow Sneak going to take it. Back throw into more arrows, another arrow, even more arrows trying to do the nair to stop his up B approach back into the ledge. Downer into the up tilt and he still just catches him again with the dash attack and that is going to take the stock. So animals getting a little bit desperate here, just ran right up to him and up smashed. At 9%, that wasn't really going to do much for him. Other than a little bit of a confidence boost, I feel. Down throw into the Nair. Hans is back with the Nair of his own there at the ledge. Just trying to gain some leverage. Down throw. Dash attack. No, not really going to do it. There's the backer, though. Got him at the ledge here. What's the option? No. Hachi drops it and gets grabbed. There's another back throw there. Panda dump. Understanding the weakness here from Animals. Just keeping him there at the ledge. Just calling out any options that he has. Just landing. Case in point, that up air. Another dash attack, not really going to do it. There's the back throw. So now Animal's here with an opportunity to do something with it. No, neither neither player connects with their offstage. Oh, he caught a jump there. No, he decides to do nothing about it. Calling out the side B there with the, the grab. He could have got a forward smash out of there. Maybe even some sort of down tilt into a forward air maybe. Just attack on just a little bit more damage. Both players going to be up, up being right back to the ledge. Couple of nares into the down toe. Just spacing out just right. Caught him out of the up B. And there's the forward air. And that is going to do it. Just straight off to the side. Panda taking it 2-0 over animals. They're exploiting a lot of animals' um, poor habits there at the ledge. He gets hit towards the ledge, and suddenly he just d didn't know what to do. How unfortunate. That's all right. That's all part of tournaments. It's a learning experience. So.